Hi you guys, it's your girl Brianna B. Welcome to my channel if you are new and so welcome back if you're not new girl with it too. I'm on a roll with the hair videos and I am here for it. So you guys want a hair video, so I'm giving you hair, okay? Hair content forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. No, but for real. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Today we're getting into a twist and curl, which really started out as a flexi rod set, okay? I had good intentions. I had high hopes. I had determination and the motivation, but it just, it didn't work out that way which we can get into in a little bit a little backstory on why i'm even doing my hair i had this big event coming up it was um a natural hair show award show so it's the master pioneers award show for natural hair and i was told it's the oscars of natural hair and it's this big event you know a lot of important people are going to be there and it's showcasing your natural hair and so i was super excited to go and of course i wanted to wear my hair out i wanted big curly fro you know you know the vibes okay i want Wanted my natural hair to flourish and I was just super duper excited so the first thing I thought of was to do a flexi rod sex I was like you know what I could blow my hair out and I could do a nice big curly afro and girl when I tell you the flexi rods were not flexi riding for me okay I just could not get it together this is me this is the first one you see my my eyes bright eyed I was bushy tail I was ready to go ready to get it I don't know what happened. I honestly can't even tell you. But this one right here, I knew it was not looking good for me after this first one. Like, it just, mm-mm. It, it was it, it just wasn't it not I, I don't really know what happened i don't know where i went wrong i'm thinking when i was editing this i'm thinking that flexi rod was too big to put in the back because my hair is shorter in the back and so I've, i'm thinking i need a smaller flexi rod i don't know why i didn't think of this in the moment but yeah it just didn't come to me i was still you know look at me i'm still trying using my pattern beauty mousse like i normally do and I'm still trying to make it work. Also, the section is too big. My hair in the back is shorter, and so I should have used smaller sections instead of those huge sections and smaller flexi rods instead of these medium-sized purple ones. If y'all knew like the excitement I had for these flexi rods, like it was quite comical when it just didn't work out. And it was at about this point where I realized my arms are about to be killing me. And y'all, that motivation I had slowly started to fade away because one my arms about to hurt two these not even doing what I need them to do did y'all see that like and here I am I changed the size flexi rod because I realized hey the purple one is too big but I never decreased the section size y'all don't be like me don't be like me if you gonna do flexi rods you gotta commit to doing the flexi rods okay that means smaller sections sometimes smaller rods but you gotta commit to it it's gonna take some time and apparently I was not as ready as I thought I was but here I am I'm still trying because we got somewhere to go tomorrow you know I need my hair to be on point I'm trying to get curly big fro so I was still doing it in the hopes that something would turn out right for me but honestly to tell you the truth I just couldn't do it anymore I wasn't feeling it it was starting to take too long. I was exerting too much energy. My arms were starting to hurt. And I just was not committed to it anymore. Like, look at my face. Like, I was still trying. But it was right here I realized, girl, you got so much more hair to go in this back section. Let's just try something else. So here we are. I started to do a twist and curl, which I love this way better. It was quicker. It was easier. I didn't have to figure anything out. It was just, it was great. It fit what I needed it to do. So for the twist and curl, I used that same Pattern Beauty mousse. Uh, that's the only product I use to style my hair. And I just went in and twisted each section. Sorry for Grace. She's down at my feet playing. That's her collar you hear. But I just twisted each section up. I did kind of small to medium-ish section just because I wanted it to be really really curly so yeah I wanted to fit in as many flexi rods on the ends of these twists as I could so I tried to make the twist as small as I could without being super small so I twist each twist all the way down I leave about maybe an inch of hair not twisted because that's where I want the curl to really pop and I just add a flexi rod onto the end of it. I didn't roll the flexi rod all the way up to the base of the twist um, because I wanted it to give a little bit of length. That one in the front though, it looks like I put it all the way up there. Um, but most of them I did not because I wanted it to leave a little bit of length. I didn't want it to give like what I'm trying to say. I didn't want my hair to appear to be shrunken when I took the um, twist and everything out. I wanted it to have a little bit of flow to it, which you'll see later on. But yeah, so I just twist it 
as you see here the section is not that big but it's also not that small and yeah i leave a little bit of hair on the ends just so it can be a little loose curl and take my flexi rod push that bad boy on up and i'm good to go i use different size flexi rods all over my head just because i like the variety like i like the dimension i like the look of different sizes i don't really like everything to be uniform all the time that's why you see all the different color flexi rods in my head i think it turned out really really cute it gives the style another element you know i'm finally almost done only had this front section to go and then when i was done girl i was super excited like look at this this twist and curl literally only took me about 20 to 30 minutes to do no time at all and that that was right up my alley because apparently i didn't have as much patience as i thought i did but of course i forgot two whole twists but i just ended up putting flexi rods in there and i was good to go now it's the next morning and it is time for takedown when i tell you the inside of me was leaping with joy i was so excited because i just knew this hair was about to serve looks okay i just knew it was about to be bomb so i'm taking my flexi rods out and with each rod i'm taking out i'm getting even more excited because it's just perfect like everything is dry the curl is curling like my hair looked very healthy very nice and it felt super moisturized it felt so soft and I was just living for this moment I was just so happy like my face doesn't say happy my face says you know I'm working right now I'm getting this done but the inside of me was so excited plus I was just excited to be going to this event like super excited so the, here I am taking out all the flexi rods before I get into separating and fluffing So to separate, I go in with my Olaplex. I think it's the number seven bonding oil. This has become my favorite, okay? I'm always reaching for this like every single day to put on my hair. I just use some of that just to minimize as much frizz as I can and I just go in and separate. Now I will say right here, I had to trust the process because as I'm separating, I started to get a little bit of doubt, okay? Cause I was like, mm, I don't know. That's not really, the back wasn't really curling how I thought it was, how I wanted it to, but I had to trust the process because it ended up being okay you see my face right there i was a little skeptical but just keep going keep going and when i tell you this came out perfect oh my goodness it was beautiful so so beautiful So this is what I meant by I wanted my hair to have a little bit of flow, a little bit of length. You see how when I shake it, you can see all of that. Like it's not too shrunken up to where it looks like it's stuck to my head. It has a good amount of length, but also a good amount of curl. And y'all look at this. Like I was so in awe. I just thought it was so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look. Ah, that's a money shot. That is a money shot. Oh my goodness, you can't tell me otherwise. It's a money shot. To take it a step further, I did go in with my blow dryer. I just kind of stretched it a little bit because I wanted it to be just a tad bit longer and a little bit more flowy. Um, Just so I can get that length I wanted. Because again, I didn't want it to be too shrunken up to my head. I didn't want it to. I didn't want that look. That wasn't a vibe. I wanted it to give length. I wanted it to give, you know, flowy kind of blowing in the wind type of thing. And so, yeah, I went in with my blow dryer and I only stretch the roots. I make sure when I'm stretching my hair with my blow dryer that I hold the ends. So I like cover the ends so that they don't get frizzy. And I hold that attachment on the blow dryer on the roots and a little bit of the shaft of the hair depending on how much I'm stretching out so yeah I think that's a good tip to take note of and I always make sure to put fresh oil on my hands when I do this because I don't want the ends to get frizzy and tangly at all so yeah and look at that look at the difference super cute y'all i was just so excited but back to the event the event was super fun it was super inspirational like to be in a room filled with natural hair entrepreneurs master pioneers like the host was lisa arndale it was just beautiful it was amazing to be there with so many influential people in the natural hair industry y'all i had such a good time i did capture some footage so i like try to show y'all i did like a vlog type of thing i don't know if i'm gonna make it a whole vlog but i do have some clips 
And so, y'all, oh my goodness, it was just so inspirational, so motivational. And I thank God for, you know, the people who came before us to create natural hair tools, teach us about our natural hair and everything like that, because I get to sit here and pass it along, you know, pay it forward. And I get to do my hair and learn about my hair and what works, what doesn't work and all that good stuff. So, y'all, it was just such an amazing event. And look at this twist and curl. Like, you can't tell me she's not cute. You cannot tell me she's not cute. I'm definitely going to be doing this again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.